Okay, tonight we have a 2016 um, A1708 that does not turn on after a liquid spill. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and uh, see what's going on with it and why it's not turning on. So these A1708s are actually a lot less painful than the um, A1706 or A1707 because these they're, they're just a lot simpler. You can see it; it's it's a lot simpler. Um, they're a lot easier to fix, at least in my opinion, and they're an absolute breeze to take the board out and put it back in so I would rather prefer one of these in an A1706 or A1707 so real quick we're just going to go over to the microscope real quick um, because there's something that stands out right here so right here is the TPS 51980 the TPS 51980 is responsible for sending out um, several very important power rails and we could see here that is not happy um, that is not going to work that that's dead um, we have some corrosion near the backlight circuit, nothing too bad, nothing that won't clean up, that's not too bad, but that's so far what we have, so we're going to go ahead and pull the board out and have a look on the other side. Here's the TPS 51980 that we discussed earlier, so let's actually look at what this does. So this is going to be U7650 on the board view, as seen here. Let's go over to the PDF file, and we're not going to look at all this, all we need to look at this and so the only thing you need to do with a circuit like this is be able to look at it and tell if it's important and we can see this is actually very important so this is most likely causing our no power issue okay it's time to repeal and replace anything that looks nasty here so that's gonna mean that chip the capacitor um, I'll, I'm gonna leave the FET for now I'm pretty sure the FET's gonna be fine that capacitor this area will be fine after a little bit of actually that cap is fine I'll leave talking about this one up here that, that one can stay, but the chip and the ones next to it definitely have to go. So let's start start there. Just make sure to reflow the fat, otherwise it's perfectly fine. It's good to go. Now I'm going to add some leaded solder to the area just to um, clean up all the lead-free junk and any, any of the corrosion that's left. And then I could wick it all away and put fresh stuff down. I may have to run a little wire or two as well. I can't tell yet. won't know until I wick everything away. Would not surprise me if we did, and I made a bridge. It's okay. I screwed up. Just get rid of that. And we will replace that resistor as well. This is the part of doing board repair un unedited. This stuff happens. Don't need to edit this out. Anybody that tells you that you're bad at this because you knock a resistor off is not in this industry. So a little bit of oxidation on this one pad. There shouldn't be a break there. I don't see a break. I just see some oxidation. I don't see any breaks in the... Um, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Let's clean this area up. I don't want this old flux there. Old flux is not good. I want nice clean board when I put the new chip on. I like how this flux cleans. It's will be for sale soon make sure this fet gets reflown too, there's a little bit of corrosion there um, out of view of course but right up there not too bad though, not enough that I'd consider replacing it let's put a little bit of Fresh solder down.
center pad we don't need too much um, some people overdo it I just like just a little bit like that you don't really need that much you just need a little bit to connect it to ground to pull heat away from the chip into ground and it really doesn't take much to do that that little bit of solder is going to spread out and cover most of the uh, area of the bottom of the chip and it'll be perfectly fine so let me start putting uh, some of this stuff back. Let's start with this resistor. Apologize if I don't sound enthusiastic in this video because I am tired. It is now 9.40. But if I want to get to who I want to lead my company in the next year, that is going to require a lot of late nights. More so than last year. Last year required a lot, but this year is going to require even more. And most likely later nights too. Not the 9, 10 o'clock stuff, but even later. But you're not going to get anywhere if you don't put in the work. It's like some of the stuff that I've done that is, is there something under there? There's something under here. There's a cap. That was stupid. Oh, I think it went this way. Let's see. I can't see the lettering. Who says orientation matters? Orientation doesn't matter. I can't see. go okay so I'm pretty sure it went this way I'll recheck for turning the board on because I don't want to fry anything but I'm 90% confident it went this way it's good now I'm going to take my iron after that solder dries, and I am going to take care of the solder around it. As always, I probably explained that like 10,000 times. And yet I still see devices sent in that people have not soldered QFN package properly. That is aligned terribly, like a five-year-old did it. I guess you're not that far off anyway. But we're gonna push that back to where it should go. No, no, no. You go back there. Now the two caps. There's one. Two. Hmm. 
I'm out soldered okay. It doesn't look the prettiest, but I don't really care tonight. Um, these caps, there's... Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to replace these two on the end. That chip is fine. Those caps are for Wi-Fi smoothing, and it's just a little bit nasty, so I will replace those. I'm going to get some flux under this shield to reflow whatever's under there as well. Not reflow, just to just to um, clean up the corrosion a little bit. Um, there's some corrosion near the backlight driver. This should be fine. These rarely die, but I will put flux around it to take care of that. In addition, of course, it's going to get ultrasonic. But let's go ahead and start taking care of these caps. Other side is unremarkable, so we're good there. I looked at the other side, too. I cheated. Yeah, these little caps are for Wi-Fi smoothing. You could leave those off. I don't see it even doing anything, but I'll put them back on. I really don't think that's going to affect anything if you leave those off. Shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Can't forget these two caps. Almost forgot those. That wouldn't have been good. Screen probably would have lit up, but the other ones probably would have exploded in a month if I forgot those. I had these one time that on one board that they exploded, and the customer said it sounded like there was crackling from their speakers, or they heard a loud pop and then it shut off, and found capacitors that were all cracked and had holes in them. Yep, that's where your pop came from. Alright, so this is good. I'm going to put this back in the enclosure. I'm going to actually let it cool in the fume extractor for a second. Then we're going to test and we'll know if uh, the board is fixed. Okay, it's in the enclosure. And hopefully you guys can see that. That is a flashing question mark folder, which means this is fixed. Um, so let's go over it again. TPS, TPS 51980. Um, replace that and surrounding components. Um, a little bit of corrosion by backlight circuit, no big deal, easily taken care of. Um, basically one of the big parts I want to get across in board repair is you don't need to know about how everything works. You know, I, you, sh you saw how I showed that circuit. I didn't go over what it did. All we, we need to know is that's important. We have a problem in that circuit. I wish more people that I see asking questions on this one Facebook group that I'm, I, I, I created it two years ago, but I'm done. I'm going to leave it. I'm sick of it. It's been overrun by please bros and I can't I don't want to deal with that but um <laughs> but the one thing I want to get across to people is that you don't need to know everything about the board if you just use your eyes just use your eyes and that little part of your brain that tells that, that tells tells yourself that hmm this doesn't look right I think something's wrong here that's all you need to to do to have to do this you don't need to be a genius you don't need to even be smart I'm I'm not smart. Trust me, I'm not smart. Um, but you just need a lot of times just to use your eyes and that little part of your brain that takes what your eye see, takes what your eye sees, and says, "Hmm, this doesn't look right." It's all you need to do this, and that's what I did here. So thank you for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video.